Welcome back to World of Immersion. Today, we are going to be doing our five-year prediction for Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now, recently, we just posted our five-year prediction for Universal Studios Hollywood, so if you've not checked that one out, be sure to check out that video. It's really, really cool. But yeah, just remember that all of these are just predictions. Obviously, none of this is confirmed. But before we start today's video, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss when we have brand new content out on our YouTube channel. And also, be sure to check out all of our brand new merch. The link is in the description below. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright, so starting off, let's talk about what the last five years have been at Six Flags Magic Mountain. So starting off back in 2019, we got nothing. There was nothing that came to the park in 2019. We were supposed to get a brand new roller coaster, but however, that roller coaster did not end up opening until 2020. So in 2020, we had West Coast Racers. Brand new, really cool, premier rides, multi-launch roller coaster. It is a ton of fun. It was a really cool ride, and I was so glad it opened. But then in 2021, we also got nothing. This was coming right out of the pandemic, so it made sense that there wasn't going to be anything in the park. Then in 2022, we got the brand new Wonder Woman Flight of Courage, the RMC single rail roller coaster. It is a ton of fun, and I'm so glad that opened as well. I think it was a great fit for the park. Then in 2023, we really didn't get much. However, there's the addition of the new Scream Break Haunt event that actually we're going to be going to today. Our video will be out on the channel in a few days. But we also saw the addition of a couple other events and yeah, these are all really fun events, and I think that's some great additions to Magic Mountain. I think more stuff like this would be really cool to see in the park. But that is everything that happened in the last five years. But let's now talk about what is going to be happening in the next five years, in my opinion. So starting off in 2024, I don't think we're going to see much. However, I think the main thing that we will see is some ride to replace where Tidal Wave is currently. So right now, they replaced part of that area with Wonder Woman. However, there are still construction walls up around the front entrance to where Tidal Wave used to be, and that whole area is left vacant right now. I think I could definitely see them putting in some sort of flat ride there, maybe like a Zamperla Air Race or some other type of flat ride like that, because they really do need more flat rides in this park. They need some more non-coasters. And I think it's a ton of space for a brand new flat ride like that. So yeah, that's definitely what I could see them doing in 2024. However, I don't think they're, we're going to be seeing a major coaster in 2024 at all. In 2025, I also don't think we're going to be seeing a new coaster. Remember, the trend right now with Six Flags is they're not going to be adding a ton of new coasters to their parks. However, what I do think we're going to see in 2025 is I think we're going to see the removal and closure of Viper. I think that this ride will finally have its time come in 2025. I know it's going to be sad for a lot of people. However, it is a pretty old ride, and the general public doesn't really like it. That line is never long for that ride at all. So I think it's possible that 2025 Viper does close. However, it would be making way for something else in the future. If in 2025 Viper does close, I think in 2026 we could definitely see a new coaster to replace it. Now, one of the rumors I had been hearing was a BNM dive, possibly a record breaker. However, in my opinion, I don't think that's what they're going to be going for. I think they would go with something even more gimmicky, something like a Vekoma Tilt Coaster. Now, these rides are getting really popular with Energylandia adding one, as well as Codaland adding one next year. I think that it's very likely that we could see a record-breaking tilt coaster coming to Magic Mountain, something like the world's tallest tilt roller coaster. I think this would be really gimmicky and really e easy for Magic Mountain to market to the public. However, it would also benefit the enthusiasts as well. This coaster would be incredible for enthusiasts. As we've seen with all the new generation Vekoma coasters, they're all fantastic. I think that Six Flags is definitely going to start working with Vekoma because they are now reliable and their coasters are really good. They're pretty similar to RMC where they have brand new coasters that are all really good. However, not a ton of people are buying them. And Six Flags was one of the first people to hop onto the RMC market. They're the first people to actually buy an RMC roller coaster. So I think they could be one of the first companies to buy a brand new, new generation Vacoma thrill coaster in the United States. So yeah, I think that in 2026, we are going to see a new generation Vacoma tilt coaster come to Magic Mountain in the place of Viper. And also, that is one of the rides that's in the very front of the park. So being able to market this and draw much more attention to the front of the park, especially in that Viper area where it's not really well-themed or really nicely landscaped at all, I think they could definitely renovate that area with the new roller coaster coming there. 
then in 2027, following the major roller coaster, I don't think we're going to see a brand new ride at all. I think we are actually going to see the removal of another ride. And I think that the ride that we would see the removal of is Roaring Rapids. Now, Roaring Rapids is one of the oldest River Rapids rides in the world. In fact, I do think it is the oldest one. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section below. Roaring Rapids is really fun. However, it's super outdated. The rapids are not that great, and the line gets insane because they can only board one raft at a time. It is one of the only raft rides I know of that boards a singular raft at a time rather than having a turntable. And this makes the line super long, which means it is really popular, but people are stuck waiting three to four hours just for one ride. And it takes up a ton of space in the park, so I think it would be finally time for Roaring Rapids to be removed in the park. However, with following the removal of Roaring Rapids, I think we will also see a brand new roller coaster in place of it. And I think it will finally be time for them to add another family roller coaster. Family coasters are really popular right now, and Six Flags as a company is really trying to appeal much more to families, so I feel like adding a family coaster in place of this would be really beneficial for the park. And what I could see them doing is definitely adding something along the lines of Big Bear Mountain Coaster over at Dollywood, so some sort of Vacoma family launch coaster. I think this would be a really great addition for the park. It could be not very expensive, but still be a ton of fun and be a really, really great way to draw kids and families more into the park. They could have it be somewhat themed, however, there's already a pretty big forest there, so just doing some sort of launch coaster through that forest would be so cool. I think it would be a ton of fun and it would be great for families. This is something I would definitely like to see Magic Mountain add in the future, even if it's not in 2028, even if it's not in place of Roaring Rapids, just some sort of family launch coaster or just family coaster in general, a good family coaster that's not a kiddie coaster. Because right now, they really only have Ninja and Gold Rusher. And while Ninja's pretty fun, Gold Rusher's not that great. With a park with 20 roller coasters and only two of them are really family coasters, I think that they could definitely use a really good family roller coaster. Maybe something along the lines of Fire Chaser Express also over at Dollywood. That could be really cool for the park. However, like I said, I really see them going with a Vacoma family launch coaster. I think this would be really great for the park. But that is actually going to do it for my five-year prediction for Six Flags Magic Mountain. Really quickly, going over my five-year prediction. In 2024, I think we're going to see a brand new flat ride in the old Tidal Wave area. In 2025, I think that Viper will close. 2026, I think we're going to get a brand new Vacoma Tilt Coaster in place of Viper. 2027, I think we will see the removal of Roaring Rapids. And in 2028, I think we'll see a Vacoma Family Launch Coaster in place of Roaring Rapids. But that is going to do it for my five-year prediction. I want you to comment down below if you think I'm right, as well as comment down below what you think is going to be coming to the park in the next five years. Comment any other parks you want to see us do five-year predictions for as well in the comment section below. But that's going to do it for our video today. Thank you so much for watching World of Immersion, and we'll catch you in the next video.